Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and I have some pretty amazing news today. Uh, Epic Games have acquired another company. Now, when a big company buys a smaller company, it's normally not always a good thing, uh, but when it's Epic Games, generally they do well by the community, and this one, so far, is no exception. And the company we're talking about today is Sketchfab, and I've got to say, lately, uh, Epic have been really getting like the key pillars of the 3D community. They've acquired ArtStation in the past, we'll get back to that in a minute, and now they own Sketchfab. Now, if you've never heard of Sketchfab, before it is a giant repository of free and commercial content it's a place where the artists can sell their stuff online and where say game developers or uh, basically anyone that needs 3d content can come and acquire it so let's say for example i came to sketchfab and i needed to get a fighter jet i could come here search for fighter go here search for um, downloadable i do hope they add a free filter there uh, it'd be really nice to see and then here you can see all of the downloadable fighter content that's out there now one of those things to be really aware of by the way this is a bit of a side tangent but any of these services, Turbo Squid was the same thing. Sketchfab has it now. Be careful, just because something is for sale doesn't mean that you can commercially use it. Because sometimes you see things like, this one isn't for sale, but sometimes you see like TIE Fighters for sale. Well, those are very much copyrighted and trademarked. Uh, so you got to be a little bit careful there. Here you see, uh, Star Fury from Babylon 5. You can't sell this. Like You, you can't you don't have the license to it. And they do this stuff all the time. One of those things to just be aware of if you are using those um, services. But neither here nor there. So here I say, I found the fighter I want. Here's another one from uh, Star Wars, a Jedi TIE fighter. And you see it, 3D preview of it in action. If you want to go ahead and download the model, click here and you can grab it either in its original format. So you can see here FBX or the auto converted, the version you're seeing right here in the browser, GLTF or augmented reality format. Also, by the way, you can preview things in virtual reality. Uh, you can inspect details of the model, the various different maps that are involved. It is an excellent service and probably the preeminent online model repository. And now it is owned by Epic Games. And like I said earlier, on. Whenever Epic Games buys something like this, they always immediately make it better. And in this case, they've done that as well. Not as big of an announcement as in the past, but interestingly enough, if you go to the Epic Games blog, there's or announcement, there is uh, one really key critical piece missing that is new to end users. So stay tuned. We'll look at the Sketchfab announcement in just a second, and that's where most of us will benefit from this announcement. But basically, Epic Games have acquired Sketchfab. It's now part of the Epic Games family. Uh, a little bit of a detail about Sketchfab. I already covered this, but basically they have 4 million assets online. So if you're looking for a thing, another thing that you're going to see over and over again is the word metaverse. This is just kind of where everyone seems to be pushing for the new linked 3D web. Uh, basically think Ready Player One or... Um, you know, the Matrix from Neuromancer, or I guess the Matrix, except for maybe not a post-apocalyptic, uh, you know, future. Uh, and you go here, th this seems that the whole metaverse thing seems to be really key to where Epic Games are going with their acquisitions. Uh, so going forward, we will continue to enable all of the integrations in place with Sketchfab technology, as well as ensure the company's offerings will remain compatible with each of the different tools and platforms they support. This includes wholeheartedly supporting Unity and other engines. By the way, there are plugins for Unity, there are plugins for um, the Godot game engine, for Blender, for Max, for Maya. So if you want to integrate this directly into your DCC or game engine of choice, there is probably already a Sketchfab plugin for you. And they're going to continue to support that uh, going forward. So this isn't going to make Sketchfab Unreal Engine only. And I got to say, from their past acquisition history, they, they walk the walk and talk the talk on this one. Another thing that Epic Games really walk the walk and talk the talk on is um, commissions. So they really hate 30% commissions, as you can tell by their war on Apple, their war on Microsoft, their war on uh, Google, and I think even Steam. So they definitely do not like the existing commission structure. So whenever they buy something, they immediately change the commission structure. And in this case, uh, artists publishing on Sketchfab are now going to only pay a 12% fee. And I think right now it's 30, but don't quote me on that. All I know is if you are now an artist selling your work on Sketchfab, guess what? You're making more money immediately after this announcement. So that's definitely nice. It's also nice to know that they're going to continue to support Sketchfab integrations with other engines out there. Now, one thing I wouldn't be surprised to see, but this has not been announced. So this is just me spitballing, but looking at previous trends, a lot of times when Epic Games acquire something, they continue to support the other software and tools out there but they often also make it either cheaper or free for Unreal Engine integration. And if they make Sketchfab models 
free for Unreal Engine developers. Oh, wow, that is huge. But they didn't do that. I'm not putting words in anyone's mouth, but that has been a trend they have done in the past. It'd be interesting to see if that ever actually happens. Um, Sketchfab team, that's basically they talk about why they bought them. Then Sketchfab says, okay, why we got ac acquired. Uh, but the nutshell is Epic Games now owns Sketchfab and creators pay a 12% commission as opposed to what they were currently paying which is pretty huge. Now, if we head on over, though, to the Sketchfab announcement, uh, you're going to see a little bit different. So I'm going to skip over the same thing, blah, 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 about the blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah. They love their community. We did this for this reason, that reason. We bought them for this reason. We were bought by them for this reason, blah, blah, blah. What I find most interesting here, so they started collaborating with Epic earlier this year through an Epic Mega Grant. Epic Mega Grant program basically hands out huge sums of money to key individuals in the ecosystem. They gave an Epic Mega Grant to Blender. They gave one to the Godot Game Engine, even though it's a competing engine. Um, so the Mega Grant program has been pretty sweet. They also integrated various products such as Reality Capture and ArtStation, uh, maintainer integration experts with uh, all the various different platforms out there. So you see the lower fees here, but this is the part that doesn't make the Epic Games announcement a Sketchfab Plus is now free too. So for just users, this is this is what changed as a result of this. We are now making all of the Plus um, features free, which means more uploads, larger file size at no cost. Current Plus customers will automatically upgrade it to our Pro plan at no additional cost with the option to downgrade for free if you wish to choose so. Also increase the number of monthly uploads of Pro plan from 30 to 50. Finally, we will also be retiring the business plan and migrate current business plan customers to an enterprise level at no additional cost. So basically, everybody that is currently subscribed just got bumped up a tier for free, or you can bump back down to the now free tier, well, for free. Uh, that is that's a pretty big announcement. Uh, and I, again, I'm a little shocked that this didn't show up on the Epic Games announcement. Like I said, though, whenever Epic Games acquires a company, they generally benefit the community. And we're going on a couple of years now. So we're going to go through a few of the acquisitions that Epic Games have made over time. They acquired Quixel. This one was huge. Quixel's mega scans are now free for Epic Games. To, uh, for If you're using Unreal Engine, Quixel's mega scans are free. Now, the cool part there is, though, in addition to that, uh, Mixer is free, Bridge is free. But if you're using Unreal Engine, all of those assets are free, which is kind of why I look at the Sketchfab acquisition and go, hmm, is that going to happen here? But the nice thing here is, in addition to that, they also cut the prices for everybody. So even if you're using it uh, with Unreal Engine, uh, part of this deal is basically, uh, so their software became free for Unreal Engine users, for Unity users, for Godot users, for whatever. But also the cost of buying stuff off Megascans got cheaper as well. So everybody benefited, even competitors when Epic Games acquired Quixel. They also acquired ArtStation. This was more recent. This was back in April of this year. Uh, ArtStation is a um, um, online artist community. And what they did is they bought it and they dropped the standard fees from, hey, guess what? 30% down to, guess what? 12%. So uh, if you were publishing on ArtStation, uh, the price went way down. Also, they made the ArtStation learning free. Are you noticing a trend here? They buy a company, they cut the commissions down from 30 to 12%, and they make something free. In this case, the pro uh, subscription is now a free subscription. And in that case, the... Um, the art station learning was free for the remainder of the year and the rates went down. They also acquired Rad Game Tools. This one is a bit more on the niche side. Rad Game Tools make uh, Blink and Oodle compression software, Granny Animation, Telemetry, and Miles Sound System. And the cool thing with that regard is they didn't hose anybody. So if you were using these with another game engine or off the shelf, whatever, they continued to sell them, support them, and so on. Uh, but they also implemented uh, Oodle compression directly into the newest builds of uh, Unreal Engine, as well as Unreal Engine 5. So Unreal Engine developers benefited from this. Existing customers didn't suffer in any way. I don't know that they changed their pricing or anything at all, though. Uh, but that was another acquisition that they made. And then they acquired Capturing Reality. This was a um, uh, photogrammetry software suite. Uh, they picked that one up, and then, of course, what did they do? They immediately dropped the price to the quarter of the existing price. So if you are using it, it literally costs you a quarter of what you used to do. Plus, the pay-per-use transactions also went down as well. So every single company that they have acquired, they haven't messed with them. They still work the way they were before, except for the commissions are lower. The only area where, and here's where a lot of people really hate Epic Games is when they acquired game companies. So, you know, uh, Rocket League. Rocket League gamers definitely have a bit more of a gripe with Unreal Engine. But when it comes to things like uh, the uh, Unreal Engine side of the equation of Epic Games, every single time they have acquired a company, it has benefited the community, even people using competing products. And the acquisition of Sketchfab, well, now Pro is free. 
Uh, commissions are better for people selling on Sketchfab. And, well, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think you're going to see a time where Sketchfab... Actually, I guess you couldn't because it's a third-party marketplace. So I guess that's a different thing. But I wonder if we'll see some kind of an Unreal Engine integration or, or you know, better price or whatever. But now that I think about it, yeah, a lot of the Sketchfab stuff is third-party selling their stuff on Sketchfab. So they can't just say, okay, all this stuff is free in Unreal Engine. Uh, so I don't think that's going to happen. But I'd love to see that. So anyways, what do you think of uh, Epic Games acquiring Sketchfab? Uh, it's huge huge announcement this and art station this year Quixel in the past they keep acquiring these companies in my humble opinion they generally make the world a better place for game developers after they acquire a company so i'm all on board for this someone says that i shill in the past no i don't shill unless the company does something good and what I find here is the company did something good. Same with Microsoft. Microsoft buying GitHub could have gone either way. But I think most people at the end of the day think that the majority of developers probably benefited from that because all, all the plans went free. They haven't screwed with it, that kind of stuff. And in the case of Epic Games, every single time they have bought a game development company, they have improved the ecosystem. Now, gaming, <laughs> that's a different conversation and I ain't going down that road. But this acquisition... I like it, but I'm curious to hear what you think. Epic Games now owns Sketchfab. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.